Hi everybody, hope that everybody is going is doing good and taking care of yourself and using your mask. So today I'm going to show you how what is the difference between gum paste and fondant because a lot of my students and a lot of people they ask me that question. So I'm going to show you that, okay? So the difference really is it's simple. It's how do you use it? Like for instance, the fondant, the only thing that you can use to make a cake, to cover the cake. You, can do, you cannot use gum paste, otherwise you have to use an electric saw to cut it, you know? Gum paste has more gum, so it dries faster. Fondant is softer. Now, do you want to use this gum paste for flowers? Yes. You don't use fondant for flowers. So a lot of my students, they, you know, and people call me and say, oh, I did these flowers and they really collapse and they are like so soft and never dry. It's because they use the fondant, okay? So you use the gum paste to do flowers, to do buildings. Let's say if you have to do a house, churches, figures, you know, animals, things like that, you have really to use the gum paste, okay? Now, the fondant, for instance, to make the ropes around, you use, totally, you use fondant because you don't want to do a rope with gum paste because it will dry and will break really, really easy. Now, what happens when you have fondant and you want it and you don't have gum paste, even that I always use satinized, but, and they have a lot of colors in gum paste too. But for instance, you have this color and you, it's fondant, but you need to do some bows and you really need gum paste, then you use a product that is called Tylos. And don't even ask me what are the things inside because this is to, it's like to make gum paste, to make it harder, okay? So how do you use that? Okay, now, I am not, I don't go by the book. So when I need to use the Tylos, it's supposed to be a pound, for a teaspoon of Tylos. That makes a gum paste a little like 50-50, like soft gum paste. But when you are in an emergency and you really want to work really fast and that things dry fast, you ask a little bit more. So let me show you. I have this color and this is fondant. And remember, you always have to work because otherwise you will have this in your fondant you always work your dough until you see this what i'm doing and put it inside and inside and inside and inside so now it's nice and soft see so this is what i do i open and i say well i only need this little bit i'm going to use probably this is the amount of a teaspoon for this one now you want to do it a harder, you add a little bit more. Don't be afraid, nothing is going to happen. So you just take this, and what you're going to do, you're going to mix that, all right? And once it's mixed, you have gum paste. Oh, Mercedes, but you know what happened? I put a lot of gum paste and it came, turns really hard. What can I do? Very easy, just take another piece of the fondant and add a little bit more of fondant to the gum paste. Then you put it away, right? And it's really, really hard because you put it and you know, you leave it for a week or something at plastic bag and you want to use it and it's really hard and you are like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Two options. You can add a little bit more of fondant again or you can just put this in a little, take a bath, put it inside, you know, when it's hard. And it's going to be messy at the beginning but guess what? It's going to work perfect. So you don't waste any gum paste, okay? Let me just move this from here. This is water. Just put that in water. And then you mix it. You have to mix it really well, all right? Just work your... See, I can feel that it's coming a little bit, you know, harder. I usually do my gum paste color things if I don't have it. I use it like two hours before I use it and that way it will be perfect, see? So now we have a consistency that is harder, 
and you can make bowls and you can make flowers or figures or whatever you really wanted to do with this okay and this is going to take now very important you should always put it in a plastic bag and like that all right now gun paste comes this is fondant and you know fondant comes in so many different colors and i always use the fondant like i said before cover my cakes cover the cake base i never use a uh, gun paste to cover like the base of the of the cakes and to make you know the you know like mm, how do you call that the rope around or whatever i'm going to do it i do it in fondant and you know fondant you can keep it like this this is the fondant yeah you can keep it for a long long time if you have it in a plastic bag and this has to be air container okay so and the gum paste the same thing all right now if you have any questions or something you know you can email me and uh, i will be more than happy to help you guys okay i want you to never have like like a really bad situation because of the product because this is magnificent and a lot of people you know sometimes they have trouble is because they don't know how to use it all right so hope that this helped you and you have a wonderful rest of the day okay lots of love bye bye